Okay, y'all. So the gag is. Where's my cartridge? So the gag is no. I guess that's not how I should start the channel. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, let me start my back. I was gonna do my makeup right here, but it's like dark, so we're gonna find another spot. I found a really nice parking spot. Um, we are going to be doing our makeup in the car, so y'all gonna get ready with me in the car for a music video shoot that I got selected for from Molly World Casting. Shout out to my girl. I literally just left class in the parking garage of for my school because I have to be there. I really cannot believe they said that if you're late, you're not getting paid and you're being replaced. So yeah, so. I cannot be late. I gotta get ready right now. So I don't have time to go home. Like it's literally pushing 12 o'clock. I have to leave out of this parking lot. It's only 18 minutes away from here, but from where I live, it's 48 minutes. So I really cannot go home. I have absolutely no time and I had to go to class today. So let's just take all this off. the brow freeze on my eyebrows and it's gonna oh no I'm not gonna use this part yeah I really didn't want to use my brush because cleaning this brow freeze stuff is like annoying I hope they know I'm not shaking my ass in this music video. I hope they know that. I hope they know. I like doing music videos, but only if I don't have to be too too super sexualized because I actually care about my image and you just never know who you'll be coming like you never know who's watching you and things like that so I'm trying to chill out with all that extra shit they think I'm shaking my ass in this music video they're wrong Period. 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 But yeah, you just never know who you gonna meet, who you gonna become in life. Like, people gonna be digging that shit. So, I just did my eyebrow freeze. This is why I like it, because just look at how nice. And they're like stuck. Like, honestly, I just did their thing with that one. Okay. Okay. Play while I'm in here, but I only brought one of my phones. I wish I brought both of so at this point, I'm gonna just move this fucking shit out of the way because obviously it don't add right. So, cause really this eyebrow is supposed to be covered. Okay, so now I'm done with my eyebrows. They are giving eyebrows on fleek though. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. I don't put product on top of my eyebrows anymore. I just kind of clean the top up a bit with a makeup wipe. Just clean up the top of my They're already pretty clean. Like, look at how straight I got them on. But this one's like kind of thicker, I think. I don't know. Wait, y'all just 
just like cleaning up around the eyebrow. Only the top, really. It really don't matter how they look, cause this is literally about to get covered, so. Um, yes, and then I'm going to be taking my new favorite brush that I use to clean up my eyebrows. But this is the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, and this is number 20. Right now, I've been obsessed with the Huda Beauty Concealer. I went on a huge shopping spree, like makeup spree, like it was like therapy for me. I find it so funny that I'm getting ready in my car right now. Like this is actually the way it is. are like really symmetrical right now look at how symmetrical baby don't play with anastasia products okay i use the anastasia brow freeze with the anastasia Beverly hills dip brow and then these were the two well the three tools that i use this is for this is specifically for the brow freeze um, it gets dirty really easily. Like, I have to clean this out. And this was only from, like, three, four uses. So, I have to clean that out. You just literally soak it in some um, detergent with warm water. And it'll clean itself, basically. And then this spatula is what you scoop it and then apply it. And then you go like this. But it's very dirty. This is a high-maintenance tool, okay? And then I'm using the 7B Brow Brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm using the 20 by Anastasia. Really, really nice. And then the concealer I used was not Anastasia, but I do have her concealer right here. It's just, I don't know. I could have used it. That could have been a whole trio. I just didn't use it. I've been obsessed with the Huda Beauty lately. So, yeah, you can go ahead and cop that if you want to, baby girl. Now I'm taking my Morphe, I think this is 35, it's, it's a 35R Morphe palette, and it looks like this. It used to be pretty until I dropped it and cracked this one. But they have all of the brown cool tones and warm tones that you would need to do a nice, soft, and simple shadow look. And it also have shimmery shades. So really, this palette is a 10 out of 10, and if you're a beginner, I would definitely say get this, baby girl. It's supposed to be a very smooth eyeshadow look, very soft. That is the goal of this look. This is my eyeliner by Kat Von Z, baby. Kat Von Z. Oh, I'm a 
not lying to be kind of a straight line. This eyeliner is really like fire. My car is completely turned off and it's still making this noise. Like, I don't understand. Now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Primer and just putting it all over my face because it's just good girl. <laughs> Got real bad allergies right now. And then I'm going to do what I usually do, which is set with some powder because we're going to be here for seven, five to seven hours. The shoot is from one to seven thirty at night. That's a long ass motherfucking time, okay? A long, long, long ass time. I ran out of my favorite foundation, so I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? I gotta do what I gotta do. Hopefully, it's enough in here to. Oh. This freaking hair, bro. I'm taking everybody in school, ladies. And with that, the tutorial came to a conclusion. This is it. This is the look. This is the look. <laughs> Let me. This is why this is my favorite foundation. Like, just look at how flawless this makes my skin look. But something else that has a huge part to play. <laughs> I think I have boogies in my nose. So let me get a tissue. So something that has a huge part to play in your foundation is definitely your brush. The brush is what will... Damn, this shit dry fast as fuck. That's probably because I'm at the end of the bottle becoming harder to blend out so when something like that happens all you need to do i got a devil up stay spray so this is setting powder spray i mean setting setting spray oh that smells good so what you want to do is just wet the foundation again And I like to use dabbing motions. Because it just helps blend it out and make it look better. It makes it look more like skin, in my opinion. Oh, that's a mess. I'm freaking eyeball. Oh, make sure you get all the way. Get all your hair. Then to be more precise, take 
the end of this brush. I love double sided brushes. Like they're just so convenient. Like look at how it's just getting all these crystals. It makes me hideous. Like, like what? And then I also tend to just add a little foundation in my eyebrow. Just because it'll make it look better and look like it's blended out much better. And so, And now the face is completely mattified. Speaking of tar, I have to get a lighter shade because that was just way, way, way too light for my comfort. I just need it to be a little lighter, a little lighter, a little brighter, brighten up the face a little bit. I don't know what accent I tried to attempt. I think it was British. Y'all, I'm gonna have to redo my my eyeliner. You're probably like, why don't you wait to do your eyeliner until you're done with your face? I just like to outline it at the end. Like, I don't want to have to do a full liner because doing my liner takes a good couple of minutes. Okay. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is blush. I absolutely love blush. This is a liquid blush by. NARS I've had this for almost two years it comes with a lot but I think I'm slowly running out and I don't know where to find this exact one that I have because every time I go to support it's not there so hopefully in the near future I'll be able to purchase another one in store so because I really hate going online I probably could just find it online but I, I like having my stuff right then and right there like do my shit I'm getting tired of doing my fucking makeup, okay? Like, I feel like I've been doing this for a long ass time now. <sighs> well, I'm almost done. Now I'm taking my Juvia's Place. This is also another really good brand that is honestly just black girl friendly, black girl oriented. Just the brand loves black women. I don't know if it's um, black owned, but I hope it is. I believe it is, but I don't want to say it because then it's not. <sighs> Ooh, I I just line my lips, finish my eyes. Um, I'm literally running behind, so I was rushing, so I really was kind of good in time now. Well, not really. I'm really not. Um, Now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter and just putting it on my face. Now I'm setting my spray, my face with some spray. You really want to drench it. <laughs> you really want to drench the face. You know? Okay, now I'm gonna squeeze the shit together. Okay, I think this 
that mascara is brown okay so this is the finished look baby this is it this is her this is the look so thank you so much for watching the video um i wish that i could show you guys what oh let me make sure i'm not about to hit nothing i just do it i wish i could record for you guys but unfortunately i can't because the clothes set they don't want us posting anything so i might show you guys my outfit and things like that it just got real dark in here but i gotta go i can't wait to do this i can't procrastinate with this um outro because y'all i'm really running like like real bad like i'm supposed to be there at one o'clock i'm not going to get there until 1 13 but at least it's not too too late it's girls texting the chat like girls texting in the chat like um, I'm there at 1 30 so yeah this is the face okay let me stop being a weirdo bye